slot it with hot water. I'm actually gonna, um, next time I go to the doctor, I'm gonna ask if she has non-fish oil because I don't know, it just kinda, even though I do eat seafood, um, every once in a while, it, it just doesn't feel right, you know, so. And I'm sure she has something plant-based. If not, I could always find it online, so. Um, I'll probably just finish this one and then get a new one. a half give or take of me being on my moisture withdrawal journey and so I figured what better day to do an update so especially since it's nice outside not really it's actually like bipolar yeah so I figured I do an update on my skin right now it's been about a month or a half give or take of me doing a no moisture withdrawal journey where I'm not adding any moisture to this skin of mine because I over moisturize the shit out of it. Obviously you can tell my face is a lot better. I did add moisture. I used um, the Senegin Slip Chapstick on my lips um, probably two weeks ago. And I can tell you for sure never ever again am I going to do that. I am like definitely swearing off of moisturizers for the rest of my life. Because literally after I started using it, my lips like crusted over and started hurting just like it did when I basically started my journey and so I was like yeah this is not worth it and the only reason why I did it is because Ryan was like you know your skin's looking better now you should probably think about adding some moisture into your skin or like slowly adding it I was like no because my skin is still not completely dry like check this out you can see um, there's still some areas but it's not like it used to be. And so I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. And then Memorial Day came up and I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to see my family today and I know they're going to ask me some freaking questions like they always do. And I'm not trying to do it today. And for instant relief, I did it. It looked beautiful for the second. But once I got home after all the festivities and everything like that and stopped applying anything, my lips were hurting, they crusted over, they scabbed, and like me being the person I am, I peeled off all the scabs and it was just completely raw, like my lips everywhere. And a little bit right here because that's where I was, um, you know, it, it, it comes down a little bit. Uh, sweat and just naturally wanting to touch stuff. But yeah, so... My skin has definitely gotten better and I'm going to probably just see how long I could do this. Probably, I want to do a kind of like four quarterly checkups and I want to do it for about a year to see where my skin goes because, you know, maybe I should just let my skin do what it needs to do, what it wants to do. And yeah, and I figured, you know, since we're doing so well, let's let's celebrate with something that I shouldn't actually be eating. Um, not only is this processed, but this has peanuts in it. And I picked it on accident. Like, I love, like, Butterfinger, Reese's, things like that. So, yeah. Let's taste the, test this guy. Oh, look at that. Oh, you are beautiful. Well, there, there it goes. Usually I would wait for Ryan to eat, yeah, to like crack into one of these, but fuck him. Oh, God. Hmm. Maybe I'm not getting big enough, but. Some, it's good, but something tastes off. You know that, like, um, have you ever had 
that like chocolate milk is like the syrup and then you just put that with water that's basically what it tastes like almost with a little bit of a burnt coffee taste I gotta pee welcome back to this okay now we're back in business I wish I kind of wish that I got that magnum one instead but whatever I took off my jacket because you know we're inside but you know this is still a jacket whatever um but yeah so my skin like it has definitely gotten so much better and like <sighs> doing this journey has seriously taught me a lot it's taught me to be patient because honestly like trust the process and just be patient and allow your body and everything to do what it needs to do like don't interfere and just be patient and let everything happen and just trust that everything is going to go the way this kind of sounds like a laws of attraction video but it's not it's for <laughs> my skin and then it's taught me some self-control like i had okay that's a lie it didn't teach me so it did teach me self-control in a way where i was more conscious of me the actions of me of the actions i was taking with my skin like i am the biggest freaking scab picker in the world like whoever knows me you guys know that i love picking scabs if it's your scab i will not touch it but if it is mine i will pick that thing until it bleeds <sighs> that's so bad to do but I do it. That's why these two are like that because I picked it this morning. And but yeah, like literally we started with this beautiful the, this like face that looked like it didn't need help. The next day it was like, "Whoa, bam, bitch, I'm here. You suppressed me." And then a month a month slash month and a half later like this is where we are like it almost looks like i don't have anything and that's why i'm so happy and i'm gonna continue doing this but like oh, itches. but yeah so it to taught me some self-control it also taught me to be more confident about myself um before i was just like i don't want to be around anyone right now like look at me i look like shit people are gonna talk people are gonna say things but at the end of the day like you're doing what you need to do for you for your skin for your body or whatever it is and if people are going to judge you or talk shit about you why do they matter obviously those people aren't there to benefit you so bye bye felicia like we don't need you in our lives and if they are people that you need in your life or whatever just take that uh, with a grain of salt and just know that they don't understand they're not going through your journey so they're just talking whatever you know just just don't mind them and then life is going to continue passing you by if you let this type of let these things in your life hinder you from having a good life from enjoying your days and things like that and that's what i was doing in probably the first week week or two of me starting my journey i legit didn't want to be around anyone i didn't even really want to be around ryan and the whole time when i was with him i would be like this I'd be covering my mouth the whole time because it's like I didn't want him to see my skin and you know what get you someone who will be there for you in your darkest days especially when you look like shit because obviously that person is with you for more than your looks hopefully yeah um it taught me to be confident and just like not think about what people th say anymore and just live my life because you know what at the end of the day i'm doing this for me and i know what's best for me i also it's also taught me to be more conscious in a sense of what i'm consuming and what i'm doing to my body um you know that i was constantly putting moisturizer on and i'm constantly picking and things like that so once I started this journey, it made me really conscious of, hey, you need to exercise because you need to get those bl your blood moving and get those toxins out and everything that's kind of like causing these flare-ups. And then it's also taught me, you know, maybe look out for your food because um, not all the food you're eating is very good, Chris. Like, you're eating a lot of junk food, a lot of processed food, a lot of hot Cheetos that you probably shouldn't even be doing if you want to try living more of a vegan diet um and it's taught me you know 
don't put anything on your skin don't scratch things like that or when i'm scratching just be easy on it like smack that shit or something like that rub it give it some love but don't <laughs> scratch it you know so it's like it's made me this journey i think is really beneficial for me at least so those are some things that I've learned and what's helped me and what's been the upside of all this. And it's just been nice to see my skin heal. Like, you see people heal in all these different ways. And when you start to see yourself heal, whether that's mentally, physically, emotionally, whatever it is, once you start seeing yourself heal, it becomes addictive because you want to constantly keep doing that, which is why I want to see if I could keep just do this for a whole year. Um, and hopefully, you know, that is going to help my body. Um, but like, even, I don't even, I don't add anything to my skin or anything like that. The most I probably add to my skin is just damping it with water now. So, it's nice, it's seriously so nice to not have to depend on anything to, you know, keep me moisturized or keep my body where it needs to be and just depend on my body to do what it needs to do instead of, relying on extra stuff and things that I don't even need. I'm just spending my money on that stuff. So it's been nice and it's been refreshing and it's been amazing. And you guys can probably tell how happy I am to feel like this because literally that this journey has been so trying because you feel sometimes it's hard when you feel ugly, you know? And when you feel like that, it definitely makes you feel some type of way where you bring in this negativity when you don't want to be around people and when you're just kind of overthinking things. And it made me feel ugly and not just of a neg in like what I look like, but just in general, like negative you know it's just like damn why is this happening to me like why is this always happening why am i the one who always has to suffer like this and it's like you know what you don't have to suffer if you just listen to your body like you are lucky to even have something like that where your body is just telling you hey you're doing something to me that i don't like so please stop and so once you get to a point where you understand that your body is not working against you it's working for you you start to become happier and you start to understand like who you are you know and it or just and and feel more confident also just because you know whatever you're doing is what you need to be doing our bodies are amazing <laughs> machines like if you let it do what it needs to do it will do it and if you listen to it it will do it even better but yeah I just wanted to give you guys an update of where I am with my skin. So we'll see. Maybe next month, these guys will be gone. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys have a good one. And I'll see you later.